Hi guys, welcome to Irish Funny Vlogs, myself and Keen Menton, we're going to do a review on the European fixtures this week. So Keen, first up, Tuesday evening is Ryteria from Lithuania, if I have that right, and Derry City. Um, just a quick note on Ryteria, they've won one game their last 16, they're actually bottom of the league in Lithuania. Bizarrely Keen, there's only six teams in the top flight in Lithuania, which is... Very yeah, strange, yeah, yeah. you know. But the bottom of the league, one win at sixteen. The bookies have dairy favourites for this. <laughs> what are you thinking on this one? Look, you can't uh, look. It's Europe. Anything can happen in Europe. We've seen League of Ireland teams that say, for example, Pats in two thousand and nine, near the end of the bottom of the table, and we've gone and we've beat Karelia Sabatov and stuff like that. Uh, so. I've no doubt it's going to be a tough game. It's not even at home. It's not in the brandy well. So they're already up against it. In my opinion, the shine and life for them is there's no fans. Uh, but look, they're going to be playing. The weather's going to be good. I remember uh, being in Lithuania with Pats. And my God, the heat. Uh, yeah, we, we played Zalgiris in uh, 2013 it would have been but the heat over there like we remember it well uh, now it's going to be a tight game Daddy will be looking at that they'll be looking at the the performances look it's Europe you're going you really are going into the unknown but like you'd have to fancy Daddy off the back of their performances and their results yeah just quickly looking at them here Keane as well and most of the players have played about 15 or 16 games. It appears the top scorer is Kazlakis with two goals. So they have had a shocker of a season. In so enough of Pats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. We can have a few scouts out there, Keen, will we? But uh, they've had a shocker this season. But you're right, though, because um, over two legs, I think you might fancy Derry. But in one leg, it's harder to tell and they're away from home. Um, I'll go for them to win just because with the League of Ireland head on as well. And uh, I suppose when you look at the form and that, um, Derry will be trying to win the game. There's no yeah, doubt definitely. about that. But as you say, it is an isolated game now, like all these games. And God knows what's going to happen there in reality. But the next one we have is uh, Bohemians, who look like they have a more difficult tie, let's be honest. Ferrever FC from Hungary. They finished second last year behind Giants Firm Varos, who... Often have been in Champions Leagues, yeah. and in Europa League, etc., etc. This side uh, have 15 internationals at the moment. Uh, that doesn't mean they're all current internationals, but they're 15 players that have 15 played. That have played. Exactly. So um, there's no doubt this is going to be in Budapest as well. There's no doubt that this, on paper, is the most difficult tie for the Irish clubs, isn't it? I feel for Bowers. You know they've worked so hard to get into Europe. <laughs> uh, for years, like I, I like they're just they just want to put that behind them. I remember, like Bowes fans won't forgive me, but do you remember the last outing in Europe and like what happened and like that? To be honest, it, it got them into a serious mess. I think they were going in the wrong direction in any way, but they could have done with an extra four hundred grand. <laughs> uh, now I think uh, it's definitely the toughest toy out of the lot. Look, they're going to be a good side. There's no question about it. Uh, but Bowers, Bowers always find a way. So I would, like, I've paid for the game. I'm looking forward to watching now. Uh, I just think, like, obviously I'm a League of Ireland fan and stuff like that. But I just think Bowers find these ways and they kind of thrive on being the underdogs. Yeah, Bowers, if it suits them being the underdogs, I think... Uh, they're, they're used to that at this stage without being disrespectful I think they're used to being the underdogs and class as a, I think it's really only this season or well, maybe last season because they got to Europe but people are really looking at Bowers as a good side they were always a good side they just went, around, went about their business quietly uh, look you, you you have to fancy the other team to win you have to uh, they, they're bang on favourites and there's no question about it they obviously, they have everything better than us, let's say. But at the same time, there's no reason why Bowles can't go and grind out a result like they do week in, week out. I'm not saying 
that's not being disrespectful. They grind results out, uh, especially like the ones in Harps and stuff like that. They always come out with tricky places with a few wins and. You know, Keith Long will have his, have his, have his, will have his troops rallied. Uh, yeah, all about them as well, I'd imagine. Like, you know, you know that kind of way. I'd say yeah. he's watched them play. They've only played two games this season in their league, by the way, and have two points, so two draws. Um, but the funny thing is, on the flip side, the fact that this is only one game, it gives more a chance that there might be a shock. Over two legs, I think these beat Bowes. I think, personally... Being away from home force is great. Yeah. Keep the score down and get it back to Daily Mount, get it back to Tala, whatever it may be. Get it back and uh, you have half a chance. Uh, over one leg, I think now it's going to be hard for a lot of Irish teams. Like we've seen Dundalk. Uh, look, they were well beaten in the end. Let's be, let's be real about it. They played fantastically well, but they were well beaten in the end. And, you know, you're going out if they would have took back to Oregon, they would have been training now. Uh, well, I, I, I wouldn't say to be training now. It would be a different type of game because it was two legs. Oh, because, yeah, exactly. If 1-0, for example, in that game, um, they threw everything at it when they wouldn't have had to if it was over yeah. two legs. Yeah, you're right there. So, yeah, it changed the dynamic. You're right there as well. Um, I suppose from the other clubs, Shamrock Rovers, Bowes in particular, and maybe Derry to an extent, they're all in a better situation than Dundalk are at this minute in time, strangely enough. Yeah, definitely. But, you know, I don't think, like, honestly, form doesn't come into this. Uh, yeah. Form doesn't come into this. This is Europe. Any, like, Europe is totally different. It's a different kettle of fish. Uh, you see, uh, like, you know, I, I just I keep saying it. You look at Pats. They were, you know, we were at 2009 relegated nearly. And, you know, we, put, we went on this mad European run. It when we say just... mad, I know it was only six games, but... Six games for an Irish club is yes. pretty impressive, let's be honest. So, like, I know I'm going back to Pats, I don't mean to, but what I'm saying is, like, form goes out the window. Yeah, no, true. Uh, I think it's it's literally over two legs, I fancy all this. I, I fancy dirty, I fancy bowls and all, I fancy rovers, I fancy them all to go through over two legs, uh, considering they're away force. But, you know, it's been... The one leg of toy, it's a, it's a killer, especially for the likes. I feel for Bowles, you know. I've said it before. Yeah, we can much- see Bohemians win because uh, they're coming up against a team with a bit of pedigree. And I think, as Irish League of Ireland fans, I think most people should be hoping that all three teams obviously could win. But um, it would be a big boost, particularly if Bowles won because of the side they're coming up against. You we know? have an awful lot of respect. I've said it a million times. For Keith and Trevor and the work that's been done at Bowes behind the scenes, and like I was there as a coach with the underage structure, but you could just see. Now I wasn't, I wasn't involved in the other end of it. I was involved in the underage structure, structure, and it was just you could just see the club though. You see what you were trying to do, and you seen everything you were trying to do, and everything like the marketing, all that. I know that we're talking about Europe, but all this adds into it. Like if it wasn't for all that, Bowes wouldn't be in Europe now. And it's a shame that it's one leg and all the fans can't go because I know how many Bows fans would be there. Let's be honest, uh, they've yeah, waited a long time. Is, yeah, Kane, that's the biggest shame, actually. Even if they went over and lost, at least they got to get over. And, you know, there's an enjoyment about you know yourself. You've travelled uh, to watch Pats in Europe as well and probably seen them lo- lose as well. But yeah. um, it's all it's 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 a bit of crack, let's be honest as well. That's it, it? and it, look, it's a it's a holiday. Oh, and Pat's yeah. unfortunately we haven't been in Europe enough lately. But like I I use that that's me summer holiday, uh, a couple of trips away. Hopefully a couple of trips. But recently it's been like one trip, one. <laughs> but then you also go to places as well that you wouldn't be used to going to as well, wouldn't you? That's yeah, the thing like, that. Jesus, no, there's some places like you wouldn't even like bring a dog on a walk, it's that bad. But uh, that, that's putting it politely. But I think uh, I just I feel for the fans really of all the yeah. clubs because I know how much League of Ireland fans love going to see that team mix it up with the big boys, you know what I mean? And it's it's a shame, but I've no doubt. Like all the fans will be watching on the stream and look, Bowles, let's be honest, they love the fans there. Rovers love the fans there. So would Dirty. They know the fans can't be there, but they'll know 
that there's thousands of people looking at them. I won't say thousands, but there's a couple of good few people looking at them. You know what I mean on the str- on the streams and stuff. But yeah. it's they will they will feel the support, and I think you know it's with no fans. The away the away toys does it suit maybe you don't know you just you don't know. Uh, yeah, as an away though. with no crowd and stuff like that, like I remember like you're playing teams like Legia Warsaw. We're all up in the corner screaming our heads off, and Leggy are just Leggy are just talk, and the whole ground just echoes, and just you just get that shiver, and it's you know it's that they're the, they're, that's what you go to Europe for, you love it, you know, and I think uh, it's a shame no fans can be there, but over two legs I'd fancy all the teams to go through with the one leg. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I'll personally, I think I'll I'll, I'll go for Derry, and I think Bowles will have a difficult tie if I'm honest with you. I think yeah. they'll probably out on the Shamrock Rovers then they're home actually Tal Stadium it's yeah. Eve's time uh, they're currently 6th in their league bang on mid table 12 teams in their league I was doing a bit of research on them as well they haven't one or two internationals to play the odd game and that not really any current internationals the goalkeeper is the captain I think he's played 7 times for Finland but Rovers at their best I think should really be fancy in this one from what I can see um, oh, yeah, look, I don't think, no think, doubt. think Tampere will come to Tallis Stadium and play, to be honest, like Pats and Shelburne did. I don't think they'll park the bus in that kind of sense, you know. So that would probably suit Rovers a little bit more. Um, yeah. And a funny feeling they've had one eye in this game in the last few weeks as well. Possibly. No team, foreign or Irish, can park the bus. They can't. It's impossible because you need to score, you need to win the game. But, Again, exactly, yeah. And so I think it's it's going to be strange. Like we've seen it obviously at the elite level now in the Europa League and Champions League. Uh, you've seen the one leg of toys, how good the games were, the high intensity, you know. Uh, I think the away goal is such nearly kind of when you're when you're playing for an away goal, you nearly kind of sit back at home. So- even subconsciously, yeah, I've seen teams do that. At yeah. home, yeah. and you go and play away. Away, exactly, yeah, yeah. So, you know, all that is out the window. It's a cup final now. And I think they're all going to make for great games because we've seen teams play in Europe and we've seen teams shut up shop and, you know, close the back door. But we can't do that now unless we're ahead, of course. But, like, we, yeah. you know, you can't, uh, you can't go out with that mindset. You need to go out and win. And look, I'm really looking forward to it. It's a shame, like I says, people can't be there to see it because I go to all the European games for any team because they're not usually on the same nights and stuff like that. So I'd go and watch them, but it's a shame. But I know they'd be on the streams and there's no issues there. Yeah, it's not too bad. Right, guys, we'll leave it there. Uh, best of luck to all the Irish clubs, Keen. I think it's fair to say, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, like, subscribe and hit your bell notification button and we'll see you again. Good luck, lads.